what's up you guys after show reacts here and today i'm going to be watching some more supernatural this is season 5 episode 15 titled dead men don't wear plaid so um i took a little bit of a nap between the last episode and this one and then i also watched the superman movie number three i'm sad it's really bad I'm just saying. Uh, and I'm back to watching some more Supernatural. Um, getting kind of worried though because uh, I like I have committed to the idea of doing like a montage for every TV show when I get to the like 100th episode. And I don't know if you know this, but um, episode 18, I think it's 18. Yeah, so episode 18 is Supernatural's 100th episode, and I haven't even started on the montage. So, this is going to be fun. Uh, if you are watching this um, around the time that the montage comes out, uh, you, you'll you have a bit of a time frame of when I probably started it. Uh, it, is, it is the 12th of September right now. Yeah, yeah, um, anyways, none of that probably meant anything to you guys, uh, I am really excited to start the montage, I just have so much going on, uh, <laughs> anyways, let's start this episode. Play James Tell me it's a vampire. Tell me that was a vampire. I can't do zombies. Please don't be zombies. No joke, I watched the pilot episode of iZombie. Not that zombie-like, but I still had a panic attack over that. Thompson climb into Benny Sutton's trailer through the window. A couple of minutes later, Clay walked out, and Benny's dead. Clay Thompson, alive or dead, we want to kill Benny Sutton? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> well, five years ago, Benny's the one that killed Clay in the first place. Heads up. Fargo. Digger? Sheriff? Gentlemen. Hey, what are you doing here? Pleasure. Shouldn't you be looking after Zach and Cody? Asking a few questions, Sheriff, that's all. Where's Zach if the dead man didn't commit the murder, then, uh... Agent Willis speaking. Agent Willis, this is Sheriff Jody Mills. Bobby? Oh. Excuse me? Is this Bobby Singer? Listen, I don't know who this is, but this is Agent Tom Willis of the FBI. Bull crap. 10-4 on that, agents. Yeah. How do you know, Bobby? You know how many times we called? How are you a menace? Where have you been? You're in a wheelchair. A murder ball. There's a case less than five miles from your house. What, the, the Benny Sutton thing? That's what this is about? You knew about this? Hell yes, I checked into it already. There's nothing here. Except a witness who saw a dead guy commit murder. What witness? Digger Wells? Yeah. So? So he's a drunk. Well, what about the lightning storms? They look like omens. Except in Why February, is he all, like, in South Dakota in storm clean. season. Clean. Like, where's I, his hat? I thought it was something, too. Isn't that the graveyard back there? Yeah. So what? Bobby already checked it out. And? What? Bobby's never wrong? Well, we'll take a peek and then we'll hit the road. Can't hurt. That's true. I saw that there was a... <sighs> Zombie. <sighs> what is going on here? I don't know, but something stinks. Don't 
Don't sue me, please. There's, there's money in the safe. We don't want your money. What do you want? Anything, please. You're Clay Thompson, right? Who are you? Uh, <clears throat> FBI. FBI. Aren't you the zombie? Oh, my God. This is about Benny. What, what about Benny? He killed me. He shot me in the back. I'm supposed to let him get away with that? Hold up. Are, are you confessing? Please. I'll go with you. Just, just don't wake my kids. You're Clay Thompson, and you died five years ago. Yes. And three days ago, you climbed out of your grave, and you killed Benny Sutton. Yes. So you are, in fact, the dead guy. I guess. I, I, I don't know what I am. Clay? I called 911. It's okay, honey. These men are the FBI. They're here about Benny. Why don't you come with us, Mr. Thompson? I think that he's a monster. He's a soccer dad. What do you want to do with him? Freeze! Drop your guns! Whoa, 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 okay. All right, hey. Remember the guy you said that was dead and couldn't possibly commit murder? There he is. And? And? And you're welcome. Hello? For catching the undead killer zombie. Whatever he is or isn't, that don't give you the right to shoot him in the middle of the street. Shoot me? I'm so sorry. So what, sheriff's on the take? Yeah. The zombies are paying her off? What happened five days ago? The dead started rising all over town. So you knew about this? Yeah. I think what Sam meant to say is you lied to us? Look, I told you there was nothing here. And there isn't. Not for you. <clears throat> there are zombies here. There are zombies? And then there's zombies. Come with me. They're all the same! And they scare me! Hey. I didn't realize you were being company. It's 4 a.m., babe. You didn't need to cook. Oh, please. I'll get some more plates. Who was that? Karen, my wife. Your new wife? dead wife. I mean, I can explain. Explain what? Lying to us? How do you make a girl zombie making cupcakes in your kitchen? First of all, that's my wife, so watch it. Bobby, whatever that thing is in there, it is not your wife. And how do you know that? Are you serious? You think I'm an idiot, boy? My dead wife shows up on my doorstep. I'm not going to test her every way I ever learned. What is it? Zombies? Revenant? Hell if I can tell. She's got no scars, no wounds, no play. Sheriff Mills, her, her little boy came back. And there were no signs, no omens? Well, there were the lightning storms. <laughs> That's what we said. What else? <sighs> and through the fire stood before me a pale horse. And he that sat atop him Death? came to scythe. And I saw since he had risen, they too shall rise. And from him and through him. Awesome. Another horseman. Must be Thursday. Don's in trouble. Must be Tuesday. She doesn't remember anything, you know. What do you mean? Being possessed. Me killing her. Her coming back. Bobby. No, don't bobby me. Just... Just listen, okay? I'm just at home watching you cook. Tone deaf is all I am. And I never thought I would hear it again. Look, just read Revelation. The dead rise during the apocalypse. There's nothing in there that says that's bad. Hell, maybe it's the one good How thing that comes that out of this whole bad? mess. How is that not bad? I know what I do. And I know what you think you've got to do. But I'm begging you. Please. Please. Leave her be. No. Yes. Nothing's 
scary about you at all. You like so much? I'm sorry, zombies just really freak me out. Like, they're just like the one thing that I cannot do. How many pies are you making? And why? I'm gonna go on a limb and guess that you like pies. Did you bake all these? I don't know what it is. Since I got back, I can't stop baking. You hunt things. I'm a thing. I get it. So then you know that Sam and I would never let anything happen to Bobby. He's like a father to us. I understand. And he's lucky to have you looking out for him, Dean. But you're not the only one. I remember everything, you know. Well, he died. How? Demon taking over my body. Oh. There are things it made me do. And Bobby had no choice but to. Damn voices down. Karen's upstairs. But you have got to acknowledge that you're not exactly seeing this straight. Bobby, whether we admit it or not, these things are turning. We have to stop them. All of them. Time to go. What? You heard me. Off my property. Or what? He'll shoot? If Karen turns, I will handle it. My way. I'm gonna have to go back there and, and, and kill her. That's the only thing I can think of. If he sees you, you're a dead man. Well, then I guess I won't let him see me. I'm so hungry, Mommy. I know, I know. I'm just gonna make you some soup, okay? Okay. I don't know what else to tell you, Doc. We checked the thermometer three times. His temperature is 111 degrees. Mommy. Hold on, Doc. I'm hungry. You take that into him. Karen? Karen? Uh, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah? them now. Can you do that for me? Can you focus for me, Sheriff? <laughs> Sheriff? Give me a minute. It's happening. It's gonna be all right. No. inside.
weird message. Me? Why didn't you tell me this before? You see so much. Uh, you mind telling us who the hell you are? Friend of Bobby Singer's. Town drunk. <laughs> no, I, I thought he was the town drunk. Who told you that? Bobby Singer. Stay sharp. <clears throat> Don't you think? It's all right, they're idiots. They can't pick a lock. Don't you ever get tired of being wrong? I'm making this stuff up as I go. <laughs> At least you got to spend five days with her, right? Right. Which makes things a thousand times worse. She was the love of my life. How many times do I gotta kill her? At least you got to say goodbye. Kind of. Right? You okay, Bobby? Karen told me why death was here. What do you mean? I know why he took a stroll through a cemetery in the sticks of South Dakota. He came from me. What do you mean, you? Death came from me. He brought Karen back to send me a message. Why you? And you? Why you? Because I've been helping you, you sons of bitches. I'm one of the reasons you're still saying no to Lucifer, Sam. So this was like a hit on your life? I don't know if they wanted to take my life or my spirit. Either way, they wanted me out of the way. But you're gonna be all right. Right, Bobby? Well, that was Supernatural Season 5, Episode 15, titled Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid. It would have been really nice to know that there was a fucking zombie episode. I can't do zombies. I'm just a little bit traumatized right now.
I feel sorry for everyone. The characters. I just 